Gilbert, it's been a while since you've fought in Rio de Janeiro. How much did it mean to you to get to come back here to your home and fight in front of family and friends? It means so much to be back in Brazil. My people, my city, my country, everybody was here. I had a lot of friends coming. My parents, my wife, my kids, so many friends. It means a lot, you know, to be able to do that for my guys, kind of to give back. Because I know a lot of guys in Brazil, like Almeida, he lives all the way in Bahia, in a small city, UFC probably never going to be there. Even Glover, he's from, from Belo Horizonte, but for a small city. But I have the opportunity to do the UFC come to my city and have all my friends, family here. So I, I have that privilege and then I got to, I have to perform, you know, with a lot of pressure. And uh, it was crazy because I was saying goodbye to my wife before I was coming to the fight. And then she said something that I like, he, he hold on to me. She said, I don't want you to bang today. I want a quick submission, don't get hit. You promise you're gonna do that? And I say, yeah, okay, I promise, okay. You promise you're gonna do that? I say, yeah, okay, I don't wanna make her mad. She's a black belt on jiu-jitsu too, so I like, yeah, okay. And uh, the fight started, I was getting my distance, I would get it going. And I saw the right handed there. I saw it and then I said, okay, I'm gonna try to throw it so hard on this guy in the beginning. And then I kind of remember the promise. Oh, sh I, I gotta finish this guy. Okay, okay, let me, if the right hand doesn't connect, I'm gonna show up for a takedown. And then he stepped back, takedown was right there. Okay, I'm gonna finish this guy. And then, but what she said just came back to my mind. I said, oh, okay, I got it. There's a phrase that we say, it's happy wife, happy life. Do you have yes. something like that? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have a, a beautiful night, beautiful week, beautiful month, everything's gonna be good right now. All because you listen to your wife, good yes. idea. So the last time you fought in Rio was seven years ago. It was your third UFC fight ever and you fought Cowboy Oliveira. In that time, how much have you changed as an athlete and a person? I improved so much. I remember even today, Harry was saying we were, we were hearing someone hitting pads on the back on the locker room and then I just hear boo and I say wow someone hits very hard and here yeah but I'm not impressed with that and I say what do you mean he said well just like you we call Bar Oliveira remember you were hitting very hard but you're very stiff and he said I like when I hear boom 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 so the guy's doing combination moving the feet in and out not just throw one hard and then like wow so you what about me? What do you think? I said, no, we improved so much. And I said, yeah, I agree. So even with doing pads, I was just hitting, moving my feet, not just one hard punch, but a lot of punches. So yeah, I improved so much. Very nice to be back in Brazil now, a top contender. I do believe I'm going to be a champion like Moreno. So maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I'm getting that belt pretty soon. Very happy to be back here and giving a show to all my people here it was unforgettable. It was an incredible show. Did you anticipate it being as easy as you made it look to finish Neil Magny? I, I hate to do that. I didn't. I was ready for a war. I was ready. I was thinking I'm going to be able to finish. But in order to step in the octagon and give my 100%, I got to I do it like an acceptance. I accept that I might get hurt. And I have to keep chasing the win. I got to win any means necessary so i put myself on the level that okay i might get hurt i might get cut i might break something i don't want i might leave a piece of me over there but i'm okay with it and so i don't anticipate it to go easy i thought at the back of my head okay if i take him down or if i connect he's out but i gotta be ready for a war you know and i was ready we spoke earlier this week and you said that you believed you had a couple of more fights before you had another title shot. Why is Colby Covington the one that makes sense for you next? Because I've been calling him out so long. I heard the UFC wants to do the Uchimei fighter. And the top contenders, for sure, Leon is already fighting Kamara for the trilogy. The other two guys there, just me and Colby. That's it. So do the Uchimei fighter, me and Colby is going to be great. I'm going to beat Colby and I'm gonna get that belt, so that's it. If not, if they keep complaining, give me the next guy, I don't care, but if I can, at least one time, you want Hamza, I take Hamza, you want you, I want you Magni. If at one time I can pick, yeah, give me Kobe Covington, at least one time let me pick, because these guys are just running. Easy to get the first fight out of the way in January, you have the whole year ahead of you. 
If it's not the Ultimate Fighter, when do you hope to be back next? Soon. Soon. If Kobe doesn't want, if UFC doesn't want this fight, give me Bilal, give me Masvidal in London. I don't care. But I, I want a busy year and I want to establish. I don't want no favor. I want to establish myself as the net, as the next guy fighting for the title. So if Kobe's been running, say, give me Bilal Muhammad, give me Masvidal, anyone. I want to stay. I want to busy. I want to work. You don't hear these guys saying that I want to work. I want to train very hard. I want to compete as much time as I can. And I want to earn a title shot. I don't want no favors. I don't want to call him out. I want to talk trash. No, I want to work and earn my title shot. I would watch any of those fights you just listed multiple times over. So hopefully we see all of them this year. Yes. Well, we will let you get to celebrating. Thank you so much. Yes.